Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to Europa Universalis for Jihad. Continuing straight away, it's the 1st of August 1529, and we are involved in a bunch of defensive wars on the side of Adal, our ally who's helped us a couple times and screwed us a few more. We are also colonizing uh, the Cape, which is a ridiculously valuable province. We are losing an absolute shit ton of, of money, so we're going to raise war taxes. And the colonizing is very dangerous for us. Oop. My seat just fell down. Don't mind me. And um, we've lost some men. Uh, but we are going to be able to fight Yemen. And what our goal here is to completely fully occupy Yemen. Except for this province. And... Oh, I can't believe they've also got Shamar. And basically to just hold Muka. Because they don't have the transport ships. Because although we are at war with basically all of Eastern Africa. They don't have the transport ships to land troops on us. So the only way they can get in... Okay, that's a bit, I don't care about that, but the only way they can get in is to cross into Muka. And this is why I was really glad that I took this province. Because Muka is a mountain province, as well as being across the strait. So taking across the strait, I believe, is minus one. And mountains is minus two. So there'll be a minus three on every roll. And we are the same... Okay, we're actually a tech down, which isn't so great. Uh, yeah, that's not great. Would have preferred... Yeah, crap. And the next infantry has an additional offensive pip and additional defensive and offensive morale. So that sucks. Uh, military tech 9, you really do get strong. Oh man, 12, they get that fire. So we really need tech 9 as soon as possible, but that's going to still be 9 years before we can get that. So let's just keep praying. Ugh. Oh. It's a difficult thing, because we need to make sure that we don't get absolutely screwed. <laughs> like, I think we have the potential to actually make some significant gains from here, but we are ha we have to throw a Dal just completely by the wayside. Like, we just have to completely ignore them, because we cannot... We have 17,000 men. We simply cannot... Actually, we have 20,000 men. We have 18,000 men on the area. We just can't do anything about it. We just can't participate. There's 35,000 men. Oh, I keep getting text. My bad. 35,000 men in this area. And there's nothing we can do about it. We can't... Wait, what? What? The hell just happened? Siege of Kinder. Yemen accepted for a peace. They give me two provinces. Oh. Thanks. And you annul all treaties with Azure. And couldn't you have annul all treaties with Shamar? Come on, man. Oh, whatever. Thanks for the free provinces, I guess. Wait, hang on. Yemen's now at war with Shamar and the Mamluks. So if I declare war against Yemen, they'll call in the Mamluks and Shamar, but I can call in the Ottomans. Can I make some gains from this? And because the Ottomans will join me, but then the Ottomans will be against their ally. Oh, I have to, uh, autonomy here. I cannot deal with rebels. This could work. Shamar just declared war on Mamluks. Damn it! Damn it, 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 damn it. Ah! He did my plan ahead of me. Damn you, bro. What the hell? You suck. Damn it! Okay, so he Shamar just declared war on the Mamluks, dragging in the Ottomans, meaning Shamar is now conquering the Mamluks. So I can't now attack Yemen. Oh crap, what are they doing here? What is this? Yeah, I can't now attack Ah, damn it man, why'd you do that to me? Come on. That screws my plans a bit. And now he broke his alliance. 
Ah, I was, it would have been amazing if I was able to do that. Absolutely amazing. Is there any way I can just kind of peace out here and not be involved? No, okay. I have to stay here forever. Whatever. Wow, that's, that's 44,000 men. Not all right with that. Hey there, we've almost gained most of this area, this entire peninsula, so that's pretty cool. Suffering some significant uh, attrition there. Even despite the minus 10% for the Ethiopian traditions, they're suffering some attrition. Ugh, damn it. Come on, Shamar, why'd you steal my sick plan? Why are the Ottomans your allies? I don't understand. <gasps> oh, maybe. Hey, we got a king. And we'll adopt the title of Khalifa. This could be cool, by the way. This Here's something that could work. If Shamar take these, four, these provinces... Um... Or whatever. If they have a border, they probably won't be allies anymore. God, if they if they would just stop being allies, I'd be so happy. Like I cannot articulate how pleased I would be. I wish this province was mountain. <laughs> Why isn't this province mountain? Can't, lose, can't afford to lose their prestige. Oh my God! Forty thousand, forty-six thousand men. I have 18 to defend if they try and cross the strait. And they will be on a significant minus, but... And I'm behind on them in tech, so... It might just be worth it to let them rampage across. Let's just hope they don't. In the meantime, the cape is being colonized de decently. We've got 65 because of colonial enthusiasm. And 26%, so that's an extra 78. So yeah, that should be done in like 6-7 years. Trade power of this province is really, really good, but unfortunately we can't really utilize it, which kind of sucks. Oh, yes, that air. 5-4-3. I like it, but why is it average? What? Why is his claim average? I have a hundred legitimacy. That doesn't make any sense. What the f... Come on. Man. That's crap. That's such crap. Pfft. Pfft, I say. Pfft. Oh, shit, I was gonna get in so much territory. And Persia's helping! Oh my goodness. Shema is literally the favoured province nation entire area. Wait, what? Never defense their interest. Ottomans have requested our help in exchange for subsidies. We will receive 3.49 for the duration of 29. Are you serious? Wait, what do you mean requested help? What's that mean? That doesn't. That's a weird way of saying here's some money. Why are they giving me subsidies? They really want me to help. Uh, Spain is giving money to to the. Sh is my game bugged or something? Is my game genuinely bugged? Because it appears that the AI has just gone. You know what? Shamar is my buddy, and I love him, and he would be my best man, and I will support him in all his future endeavors. The Ottomans are subsidizing them and their allies, which, you know what, is a tactical decision. It makes sense. I can support it. But for Christ's sake, why is Spain supporting them? They're going to be so rich. Oh my god. And why is this not affecting? Oh, Yemeni has just been accepted. That's cool. That should increase some of the monies we get. By a little bit anyway. Ugh. 
Sadly, these colonies don't give me very much money at all. Because of that horrible reduction of being minimal of 75. Yeah, no, we have to keep doing that, sorry. I really would like to stop raising war taxes. Wouldn't that be fun? But we can't. However, we're going to get to the next military tech a lot sooner than we thought. Well, it looks like the very next war we have to do is we're going to just have to declare war in Yemen and just finish fully annexing them. Or just taking these three provinces anyway. And that's basically all we're going to be able to do, because we can't get past this... Sh What's the Shamar, the Shamar Persia Ottoman War? So what do we do? Do we go south? Do we just start attacking Adal? Is that what we have to do? Push into Adal and start taking provinces willy nilly? Because I really don't actually want to do that. Oh dear, the Ottomans have died. Let's just let's just get that royal marriage back. Good stuff. Ugh. Could be going better, guys. Could be going better. Oh, wait. They, they, okay, the war's over. And they don't have a border. They just took two provinces. Of course. Of course. Oh, you're actually joking. That is not how the AI works. Shemen has just re-allied Yemen, despite the fact that they didn't join the war. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yes. Oh my, Jiminy Christmas. Sweet Jiminy Christmas. Okay, no, this is actually amazing. Okay, in as soon as the truce is up, at 40, 1540, we declare on Yemen, we call in Shamar, Ottomans will join us fighting Shamar and Yemen. Yes, we could take three provinces from Yemen, we can take two or three provinces from Shamar, and, oh my Christ, this will be amazing. Get the hell out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Step off, buddy. We don't want none of that. Let's see if the uh, the general, the king, is better. He is not. Why are they always one and two? What the hell? You don't want to fight me, buddy. I think I'll win. Oh, god damn it, man. What the hell? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Okay, well, this sucks for us. Let's just hope it works. I believe. Do you believe, guys? Because I believe. Okay. Oh, it's a minus two from it's a crop from because it's a crossing. Okay, it's a minus two for the crossing, minus two for the terrain, the same morale. Okay. <laughs> they get a minus four on whatever roll they have. And then although they outnumber me. Oh my god, yes. Let's look at the morale damage. 2.94, 3.18. 3.18. Yeah, yes. That's the stuff. This is the fire stage as well. Oh, and we beat them in the shock stage. Oh my goodness, we have eight, and they have minus three. Let's look at this. Woo! Get out of here. Oh, look at that. They're leaving. They're dead. They can't handle it. Look at these rolls. Oh, this roll. Having that shock is so powerful. Fire's more even. But the shock. Oh my goodness, they lose 10 times the casualties. Got it. Mm. Look at that. 1.5 prestige. 
Thank you very much. I will see you in hell. Oh no, we're losing so much money now. I'd quite like to be able to leave this war. Would you mind just going away? I don't want to be involved. If you just peace out with me, like, what do you think you're going to gain? If you peace out with me, the war would be over. Because you'd be fully annexing them. So why don't you just peace out with me? You fool. Oh, dude, get lost. Seriously? Get the hell out of here. Just get lost. Thank you. Ugh. I didn't lose anything, did I? Nope. Good. For goodness sake. Get out of here. Douche. Colonizing costs so much money. I should be able to get some good money, I think, from this. We can get Swelling Dam and then Grand Feet. I'm grabbing crap tons of these provinces. And it also blocks off uh, the rest of Europe from trying to nab my tasty provinces. Ooh, slaves! Man, that's, that's not really something I should ever say, is it? Ooh, slaves. But uh, here we go. I like the slaves. Point one from the cape. Oh, man. All right. We're going to make some money from that. Please leave me alone. Just siege those provinces on your own. Just don't attack me. It's not a big deal. If you just siege him down, you can take whatever you want. You don't have to freaking just march on me. Oh, God, there should be a stable government. Uh, yeah, except the demands. Thank God, we'll actually have the next military attack. Thank Christ. If we continue this, this should go really, really super well. Like, super duper well. In fact, we could probably kill all of the Shamar army instantly. Oh, that'd be so tasty. <laughs> Whew. I would very much like that. In fact, I should probably start fabricating claims. What's the best provinces? Go. We got Mad we got a claim for Madonna. Let's do. Oh, do I already have Jeddah? Oh, so I do. Up, oh, it's gonna run out there. That's okay. Jibble Shema. Just start claiming every province in existence. I think I might just reduce my army maintenance a bit. Just. Hey, look at that! Thank Christ. Well, Adal is now crap. It's a real shame. Let's get rid of the general. Yes. We've done it. We've, we've actually done quite well, so we did lose some. We did lose some men, but that's okay because we have, you know, still several years. We have until fifteen forty for the peace to end, and when it does, we'll declare war on Yemen, dragging in Shamar. We'll cripple Shamar's army immediately, and start sieging everything. Any mountainous province? No, there aren't really. That sucks. Ooh, these are mountain. <gasps> these are mountain. 
This is all mountain. We could just stick our army here and just defend that. Ooh, that'd be nice, because it's a border blocker. And the Mamluks wouldn't be able to get their troops across. That's that's a possibility. Just ram their army and then just hope they go up that and they head to Man. Wait for the Ottomans to help. And then just start sieging all of this. And then siege the three Yemen provinces and take probably like these two from uh, Thingy. Why would you ally a nation that's, uh, that's an opposing power on your border? Like, honestly. I don't understand. So we'll have that to do. I also think it may be time for us to finally do our next idea group, which it cannot be military tech, because we're so far behind. Like, just so far behind. So it's probably going to have to be the administrative boat ideas. Which I think makes the most sense. Although economic is somewhat tempting. Ooh. Land maintenance modifier. Development cost. Innovative. Now it's going to be administrative. Let's do it now. We're just going to do that right now. Bam. Bam. And finally. Bam. Mercenary cost. Good job, us. All right. We've done it. Okay. So we will be having some peace, waiting for this to finish coring, and waiting for the truce to be up. And until then, I will be Aldrill, and I will continue to be. And this has been European Universal 4 Jihad. See you next time. Bye.